Hey guys, it's your boy Rob the Rider, and this is my first video on my new channel. Um, yeah, guys, so this channel will be focusing on roller coasters in the roller coaster enthusiast community, or if you guys are just people who would like to go to theme parks and you're not obsessed with roller coasters like I am, you can all uh, watch this too because this will be telling you about you know latest theme park news, um, what's um, like what's new in your favorite parks, you know, and I'm just gonna be giving my opinion and. Um, I'm just gonna say, guys, if this video gets very good support, or the next, like, uh, five videos or something like that get really good support, I will do a face reveal, and most of my videos will be with my face in it. But, yeah, guys, I am using a Blue Yeti microphone. I'm super excited because I just got this microphone. Like, this is probably the most expensive recording technology I've ever gotten, and, um, I love it. I love this microphone. It's so great sounding it's like you're having a conversation with the person yeah so i can't blame my not so good voice on the microphone <laughs> yeah but uh yeah guys right here we got steel vengeance uh, st steel vengeance oh geez wow well two steel roller coasters steel Cur this one's called steel curtain is the aim to the pittsburgh steelers I don't understand why everybody does not like that. Like, the coaster enthusiast community is just like, oh, it's themed to the Pittsburgh Steelers. It's so bad. I mean, like, why does that have to do anything? I think it's kind of cool that Kenny Wood's going with this Pittsburgh Steelers theme. I mean, they've never done that before. And the Pittsburgh Steelers, like, win the Super Bowl. Hopefully the Patriots do. That's a controversial opinion. But, um, yeah, if the Pittsburgh Steelers win the Super Bowl, this place is going to be insane because it seems like the theming has like you can like throw football stuff it looks really awesome it has the most inversions in america and if you do not know what inversions are they're not necessarily loops they're when you go upside down on a roller coaster so anytime you're upside down such as a corkscrew or yeah just anytime you're upside down it doesn't have to be a loop but it can be a loop i don't think this ride has any loops but um well actually it does um but this is actually the roller coaster with the tallest inversion. So you're going like the highest upside down moment on a roller coaster in the whole world. And I gotta say, after this POV is done right here, we're gonna do a full ride analysis um, on this, starting from the lift hill and to the actual ride. And it looks pretty great. Um, I'd say it'd be very fun. I do see some moments of airtime, if you not know guys airtime is when negative g's are applied to the train and you are lifted out of your seat pretty fun you will notice that they have little hills like that hill right there that is lifting you out of your seat so that's pretty cool um yeah it looks like a great ride but we're gonna do a full analysis as soon as this hits the brake run which it did right now so we're starting with the lift hill and i do believe this right here this drop is the world's tallest inversion Wow, yeah, that that's sure to be insane. You're gonna feel like you're falling out of your seat. This drop looks pretty good. Oh, that's like a, that's an intense turn. Oh, that's a huge inversion. I think this is like a giant cobra roll or something like that. I don't know. I don't know if it's a cobra roll. That looks to be good airtime right there. That hill. Oh, another one of these tall inversions. This ride has very tall inversions. It's just flipping you upside down every moment it gets. Oh, that looks like very good airtime right there. And it's going to go into this zero-G stall. Mostly they're featured on RMC roller coasters, Rocky Mountain Construction, but they have one here. I like zero-G stalls. Another zero-G stall. Well, actually, that was a zero-G stall. I don't know. But that's insane airtime right there. Ooh, that, that's a pretty nice corkscrew. Let's see. This roller coaster does look to give good airtime. Um, boom, that looks like great airtime. And it seems like the ride's over. So, my overall thoughts on this ride. I think I would give it... I have not ridden it. Uh, it's not even built yet, but... I'd probably give it an 8 out of 10. It looks... Well, 9, nine out of 10. Depends on how strong the airtime is. Because if it has strong airtime and these crazy inversions, it'd be a very good ride. Um, yeah, um, I don't think it compared to Kenny Wood's other roller coaster called Steel... Oh my gosh, not Steel... No, Steel Force. That's at Dorney Park. F Phantom's Revenge. I was thinking of the Steel Phantom. I don't know why. That that used to be what it was called until it was remade by the manufacturer, Morgan. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, it looks like a very great ride, and I'd be excited to ride it. I like how it goes over the water there. Flip over. Boom. That looks like good airtime. 
It's, yeah, it's just flipping you upside down. I think the GP general public is going to like this ride a lot because it flips them upside down a lot. And it looks pretty good, and I'm not really sad that it's themed to the Pittsburgh Steelers. I think that's kind of cool. But if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like. And thank you for watching my videos, and uh, stay tuned for more. First video on my channel. Bye, guys.